Alright, so today we're going to be talking about the AP Calculus AB for your response question 1. And here it is. So, if you want to um, pause the video and work on it. And then, if you unpause the video, I'll show you how to solve it. Alright. So, you've got this particle and it's moving. And the first question asks, is the speed of the particle increasing or decreasing at time t equals 5.5? Now, the way you would figure this out is that you would plug in 5.5 into your velocity equation and 5.5 into your acceleration um, equation. This is a negative number, and then when you plug it into the acceleration equation, times cosine e to the 5.5, you end up with this also being a negative. And now speed depends on the, um, the signs of the velocity and acceleration. If the two signs are the same, if they're both negative and negative, then you would say that the speed is increasing. And if the two signs are both positive, you would also say it's increasing. However, if the two signs are different, like one is negative and one is positive, you would say that it's de decreasing, right? But since here the two signs are the same, you would say that the speed of the particle is increasing, right? Okay. Then we move on to finding the average velocity of the particle for the time period 0 uh, is less than t is less than 6. For this uh, part of the problem, What you would do is you would find, um, you would plug it into the average velocity equation, which is 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f prime of x. So since we're given f prime of x, that's uh, the velocity, we would say that this is from uh, 6 to 0, 1 over 6, times from 0 to 6 of our velocity, 2 times sine et divided by 4 plus 1. And then you just plug that into your calculator, and you get that this equals 1.949. That's your average velocity. All right, and then the third part of the question says to find the total distance from time t equals zero to time equals six. So, because we know that displacement is equal to the integral from a to b of f prime of x, and distance is the integral from a to b of the absolute value of f prime of x. Got my dx's. Um, make sure to include these absolute value bars because you will get docked down points because there is a difference between displacement and distance, right? So all you would do is you would plug in. Uh, 0 for a, 6 for b, and then your velocity for your um, f prime of x, and that would find you your distance. Right? So, from 0 to 6 of 2 times sine e t to the 4 plus 1, absolute value bars, dt. So if you plug that in, you end up getting the distance is 12.573. And since 
there were no units given in the problem, you would not have to provide any units, right? And then for our final answer, it says for 0 is less than t is less than 6, the particle changes direction exactly once. Find the position of the particle at that time. So, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find where this particle changes direction. And when the problem says it changes direction, that means that the velocity goes from negative to positive or from positive to negative, right? So we're going to want to find where velocity equals zero, okay? So what we can do is we can graph it. So here's the, here's the graph, let's see a little focus. Here's the graph, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find where this crosses zero. And you want this to be between zero and six, right? So there are some places where it crosses over the x-axis, but you want to, um, you don't want to care about this because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven, right? Just get rid of all that other stuff. So what you could do is for TI inspires uh, analyze graph and then um, zero and then you set up your lower bound from zero to six and we see that our zero is five point one nine five five two right so that's where V of zero or V of t equals zero at t equals 5.195, right? So, what we're going to want to do is find the position. And we can find the position by um, taking the integral, integral of this, and then we can also use this additional information provided to us that x of zero equals two. So what we can do is find the integral from 0 to 5.195 of b of t, right? And since we know that when you take the um, integral of a derivative, we know that you're going to end up with the position of 5.195 minus the position of 0, right? This is um, the rule of integrals or something like that. And um, basically, since you know what this number is, you can just plug this into your uh, calculator and then uh, just solve backwards. Right? So, if we plug this in, we end up with this being 12.1348 equals that. Then we add 2 to the other side. And we end up with 14.135 equals P of 5.195. That is the answer to that question, and that is how simple it is to solve. Ooh, it's the end screen. Click on one of these links to be directed to that playlist. And don't forget to subscribe!